Classes resumed for Tulsa Public Schools on Thursday following a recent reprimand from the State Board of Education. News Director Rich Lenz spoke with Frontier Editor Dylan Goforth to find out how the board's ruling could have an impact that extends far beyond the classroom. Dylan, how significant is it to receive an accreditation with warning? Is that a slap on the wrist or something more impactful? Accreditation with a warning is a pretty severe penalty because the next step beyond that is probation. And after prob probation, it's when you start talking about losing your accreditation. And so there's not a lot of wiggle room left um, for TPS, you know, moving forward, given that we already have parent groups saying that they are lodging more complaints and the complaints are going to be filed more and more often. The original uh, requested punishment was accreditation with a demerit, which is, you know, a lighter punishment. The board went with a stronger punishment and it's put TPS, you know, before the school years even started, it's put them one step away from probation. So it is a very severe and I know they're taking it very seriously. You mentioned the different levels of accreditation. Could you go through all of those for us? And, and how often do schools receive the highest accreditation and how often do they receive no accreditation? So you have, you know, basically full accreditation, accreditation with, with a demerit, which is for things like, you know, you didn't do enough fire drills this year, stuff like that. Accreditation with a warning, which is more severe and really indicates that the, the state board of education is kind of, you know, keeping a close eye on you. Um, and then you have accreditation with probation, which is where the state board is saying you have this much time to correct this, these things or we're going to potentially, you know, um, take your accreditation away. And then that's the final step is is losing your accreditation. And that can either mean the school um, district or a school system is closed and students are moved to other um, school districts, other school systems. Um, it can mean that the state board basically takes over the operations of the the school system. I mean, it you know, it's that is pretty severe, obviously. Along those lines, Dylan, some would say that the TPS is the focus, if not the target of the state administration. And yet Mustang schools also received this uh, same warning for violating uh, 1775. But do you think politics is involved in any of this? Deborah Gist, the superintendent, and uh, Governor Stitt have butted heads uh, in the past about masks and schools being open and schools being closed during, you know, COVID. And as I talked to one of the school board members, the, the state uh, board of education members over the weekend, and this board member mentioned during the meeting, why are we, you know, doesn't this appear to be targeted toward TPS that TPS, um, their violation had nothing to do with students. It occurred before the law. The emergency rules had even gone into effect. It was a teacher training. Um, and we're giving them a harsher punishment than we're giving Mustang. Doesn't that, you know, show that, that it's just being used to target TPS? And then the board said, oh, OK, good point. And then they gave Mustang a harsher punishment. Dylan, critics of the school board's decision say this could actually impact Tulsa's economy. Explain that. The way it's been described is essentially if parents with children, you know, move into the area and a realtor, they ask about the schools and the realtor says, hey, you know, you know, there's all this bad news about TPS or, you know, their accreditation is on a warning and they're one step away from a probation that those people might say, you know, well, why don't we just go to Broken Arrow, which is 15 minutes away, you know, to the east? Or why don't we move to Owasso instead where they don't have these issues on, you know, as a city, what are you always trying to do? You're trying to get businesses to move in. And it's not always... You know, you're not always talking about Amazons and Teslas or whatever. You know, you want small businesses to move in, too, and open up. And um, all the bad news about a school, an entire school system, um, you know, people are afraid that it might scare businesses off. Tulsa Public Schools is appealing this decision on what grounds and when could we expect to maybe I don't have a decision from the board. What the State Department told me when I asked originally was that there was no appeals process for the schools that they there's no way to get in in front of, you know, the board again and appeal and have the decision um, retracted or changed. Um, I know the local uh, TPS school board president has asked them to reverse the decision. I don't know. Um, I, I've not gotten a response from the State Department on on what they will do with that. Hopefully we hear more from that soon because I, I think Mustang um, is doing the same thing and, and will appeal um, their decision, too. And so. And on that note, Dylan Goforth, editor of The Frontier, great information as always. Thank you very much. Yeah, Rich, thanks for having me.